Hello and welcome to Morning Afterglow. This is our first Afterglow recording for the year 2014. So, welcome to a new year and uh, welcome to a new phase of, of Afterglow. I look forward to us being together, uh, hopefully each week, as we share together some reflections upon the sermons from the previous day. Yesterday morning I preached from Hebrews chapter 12 on a passage that most Christians know, uh, verses 4 through 11, about uh, God the Father uh, bringing discipline into the lives of His children uh, because He loves them uh, in order to make us holy, in order to sanctify us uh, for our good. And that's essentially what the point of that uh, passage is. It's very, very important that we understand that the word discipline, which is used approximately nine times in those verses, uh, is not talking about punishment. Uh, God doesn't discipline Christians because He doesn't like us or because He's mad at us, but rather He's disciplining us like a coach would discipline a team. Uh, a coach would put them through the paces, uh, the sprints and, and lifting weights and, and uh, taking care to regiment and regulate everything in their lives so as to achieve optimum performance at game day. And that's what God is doing for us. He is bringing us through all kinds of life experiences, some of which are hard, some of which are a bit overwhelming, and they may even be heartbreaking. Um, but uh, He is over all of that, and He's leading us through those things to accomplish what He wants in our lives. He says in verses 10 and 11 uh, of that chapter there in Hebrews 12 that He does that for our good, that we would share in His holiness. He says while we're going through a tough time, a discipline, um, it's very hard in the moment. It seems just terrible, but afterwards it will yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Um, I don't think I understood that passage for many, many years because I interpreted the passage to be about God. Uh, when we uh, broke His law, He would get angry at us and He would, like a parent, correct us. But it's more like, as a parent, He's developing and training us uh, to be the godly people we ought to be, to be like Jesus Christ. You know, when you come into this world, you're going to have a life full of affliction. Everybody has it. But when you get saved, those afflictions turn into sanctifying tools and instruments in the hands of God to bring about a godliness in our lives. So I hope that as you and I enter 2014, and who knows what it will hold this year, um, there are going to be some good things and there are going to be some tough things. But when we come to those tough things, uh, let's not get mad at God. And uh, let's not think that God is mad at us. Let's not think that God has abandoned us or that God has failed us in some way. Let's think of it like this. God is using these experiences to train us and to make us what He wants us to be. And so we can rejoice in that, knowing that after the training, we're going to be what God would have us to be, and there's joy in that. I'm praying for you, and I hope and pray you're praying for me as we move forward in this year, 2014, together. It's been good to talk to you this morning. I hope and pray you're going to have a great week, and I'll see you next time on Morning Afterglow.